OpenAI have cancelled the public launch of their new voice engine product despite launching its capabilities earlier this week. They say they're worried about the US election year. That could well be the case, but it's actually only just scratching the surface of all of the different problems that a terrifying new technology like this could cause. First, let's talk about the technology itself. It's a text to voice engine, which can essentially mimic any human voice using just 15 seconds of sample input. The model is based on a neural network architecture trained on vast amounts of text with corresponding audio recordings to learn the nuances of how people actually speak. And it works incredibly well. The voices are convincing, emotive, and can obviously say anything that you want them to. The positive applications for this are, of course, massive. On the OpenAI blog, they talk about things like translation, localization, and therapeutic tools for non-verbal people. But like any powerful technology, there are some glaring risks. First, obviously there's politics. I'm sure I can't be the only person who's had older relatives utterly taken in by AI generated images that they've seen in their Facebook feeds. Well now, guess what? Any political candidate can create very convincing avatars of their rivals with extremely convincing voice saying, really anything that they want. So this clearly has the potential to massively disrupt elections, which OpenAI, to their credit, have acknowledged. But there are some far more mundane risks that are actually in many ways much more terrifying. I did a video on AI scams last year, um, which was about a woman telling the story of how her grandpa was taken in by a scammer pretending to be his grandson and basically ripping him off, convincing him that the son died and it's really just a horrible terrifying story all round. Take a look at that if you want to learn more. But this was a year ago so the technology couldn't have even been particularly well developed by that stage. Imagine how much further we've come now. If it was already happening back then it doesn't take a huge leap of the imagination to understand how widespread this kind of scam activity could become if the technology becomes extremely widely available. And all a fraudster would need to create an incredibly convincing imitation of yours or my or anybody else's voice is to keep you on the line for 15 seconds. With that, they could then find your relatives on social media, find your colleagues on LinkedIn, and even phone up the bank and talk to all of these people with a very convincing version of your voice in basically real time. So what can we do about it? Well, OpenAI have obviously acknowledged some of the risk, and so they are phasing their approach to releasing this technology. But honestly, the genie is out of the bottle now. If OpenAI have got something this good, it's not going to be long before there are open source versions and before it's very widely spread around the wider web. As with all these technologies, it really seems like government's powers are relatively limited here. There's only so much they can do and centralizing access to this kind of technology actually throws up more moral quandaries than it solves, in my view. It would basically give any nefarious actors who can access it a competitive advantage over the whole rest of the population. So in my view, the phased rollout probably is the best approach and the only one that we can really hope will allow the population to be educated at the same kind of rate as the technology advances. But there are going to be more examples of fraud, more scams and potentially wide scale election interference. There probably isn't much that we can do about any of that at this stage. So we're just going to have to hope that we as a species are able to engineer solutions as quickly as nefarious actors are able to engineer their scams. The best approach is going to be to put the best minds in the world together to try to combat the risks at the same kind of rate as we are putting the best minds in the world to work growing the capability and the technology. It's really not an easy situation and there are no good solutions. But of course, we've got to have faith in ourselves as a species and hope that we are able to move quickly and solve the problems that face us as we always do. I'll see you next time.